we can proxy our web traffic through OWASP Zap by configuring Firefox to send its traffic to Zap and then Zap will turn around and send the traffic on down the line to the web server. So the first thing I'm going to pay attention to is what IP address and port I have the OWASP Zap configured to listen on. So with Zap started I'm going to go to Tools and Options, Local Proxies, and make sure I know what address and port that Zap is listening for a connection on. By default it's going to be localhost 8080. You can change these if you do. Just make a note of what you changed the IP and the port to. Over in Firefox, there's a couple different ways to configure Firefox to point to the proxy instead of directly to the web server. So one of the ways you can do this is with the preferences. And in the list, in this newer version of Firefox, you want to go to Preferences, Proxy, and that'll bring up Network Proxy. Click on Settings, and then you can configure to use No Proxy or Manual Proxy. So No Proxy, of course, is direct connection straight to the site. With a manual proxy configuration, you would just type in the IP address and port, respectively. Hit OK. And now the traffic is going to flow through the proxy. So, for example, if we come back over here to and go to the home page, click on some link, go back over to the proxy, we can see these are getting added in to OWASP app. It can be a little bit tedious if you want to switch back and forth between using Zap and just using Direct Connection. So what you may do is install a tool like Foxy Proxy. So if I go back over here to the preferences, go to the settings, and just say no proxy, hit OK. Firefox is just going to be going directly to the website. After you install Foxy Proxy, you can click on the symbol, click on options, and then click add, and you can actually add OWASP Zap in as your proxy. In this case, I've already added it, so I'll just click edit to show you the different options. You give it a name, put the IP address in, and the port, the same as we did for Firefox, and then hit save. Then when you want a proxy, you can just click on Zap to proxy through the tool, or you can just click on turn off the Foxy proxy to just go directly to the site. So now we'll click on use OWASP Zap, go to some other page that we haven't been to yet. So in this case, the user lookup. And we go back to Zap, and we'll start to see those pages that get loaded in here. You'll also notice that if you happen to have Firefox sending requests in the background, they're going to show up in Zap as well when you're proxying through Zap. So like in this case, Firefox was checking on versions, and it happened to send the request in the background even though we didn't directly browse to it you'll start to see all of that traffic populate over here in the sites. If you don't want to see one of the sites that was browsed to, you can delete it out of the list. And that'll leave just the site that we found 